Attack on FBI convoy in Las Vegas leaves three dead as WikiLeaks bombshell prepares to explode. By Sorcha Fayol, October 16, 2017. What does it mean? Dot com. A distressing new Foreign Intelligence Service report circulating in the Kremlin today states that during the late evening hours of 14 October, an FBI convoy carrying what was believed to be a critical pyramid sacrifice massacre witness was attacked near Las Vegas, leaving at least three dead, and that SVR intelligence analysts are linking to a mysterious bombshell information release expected from WikiLeaks sometime today. According to the report, at 8.58 GMT plus 3 on 15 October, 10.58 PM Las Vegas time on 14 October, SVR electronic surveillance analysts reported a sudden massive increase in FBI encrypted radio communications originating from Henderson, Nevada, a city located about 16 miles from Las Vegas and with immediately thereafter at least 37 local police, ambulance, and fire forces vehicles being dispatched to the intersection of Stephanie Street and Russell Road and who initiated a half-mile blockade of this area, letting no one either in or out of. Within seven minutes of this incident occurring, too, Further SVR electronic surveillance intercepts recorded a, likewise, massive increase in encrypted radio communication among FBI facilities in Los Angeles, Denver, and Washington, D.C., but with the only public accounting of what happened occurring 16 hours later when a local news release stated, Three people were killed in a car crash in Henderson on Saturday night. In a statement, Henderson police said they responded with city firefighters at about 11 p.m. to the two-vehicle crash near the intersection of Stephanie Street and Russell Road. A person driving an 05 Jeep Liberty eastbound on Russell drove over a raised median and crashed into a Dodge pickup in oncoming traffic lanes. The Jeep rolled over onto its roof and caught fire. Both the driver and passenger of the Jeep died at the scene. The pickup's driver was taken to Sunrise Hospital and Medical Center where he died. The road was closed for about six hours as investigators worked the scene. It is unclear whether impairment was a factor. In attempting to discover the true events behind this incident, SVR intelligence analysts began accessing Cosmos 2410 satellite photographs taken of this area, which confirmed numerous vehicles had been set ablaze, but that further mysteriously revealed that the greatest concentration of FBI and local police officials were not at the accident scene itself, but a large self-storage facility located about 100 meters away called U-Haul Moving and Storage at Russell Road. These Cosmos 2410 satellite photographs also documented another large FBI presence during this time at another location in Henderson, 10 miles away from the accident scene, and identified as being 10001 Southeastern Avenue, which is the medical office location of CIA gun runner Stephen Paddock's private physician previously identified as being Dr. Stephen Winkler, and whom some SVR intelligence analysts believe was in an FBI convoy to the U-Haul storage unit when they were attacked, and that they say was filled with weapons, drugs, and ammunition. As the medical office location of Dr. Stephen Winkler is also the location of the emergency room facility of the Dignity Health St. Rose Dominican Hospital, this report notes other SVR intelligence analysts believing the large FBI presence there could be explained was due to the casualties of this attack or accident having been taken there, but that Past actions taken by the CIA to cover up their 70 years of organized crime prove that the most normal explanation may not come anywhere near to what the truth actually is. In order, therefore, to discover the truth being covered up by the CIA after one of their false flag murder events like occurred in Las Vegas on 1 October, 
One needs to first allow the trail of the most critical witnesses, the vast majority of whom will experience sudden and mysterious deaths, and exactly like what occurred after President John Kennedy was publicly executed by the CIA and that saw over 300 witnesses put to death, and whose absolutely staggering account of what was documented in the painstakingly researched book titled Hit List, an in-depth investigation into the mysterious deaths of witnesses to the JFK assassination. And exactly as like followed the public murder of President Kennedy in 63, so too today is the CIA eliminating critical witnesses to the Las Vegas massacre, and whose latest victim is Chad Nishimura, who was the Mandalay Bay Hotel valet that exposed the lie that CIA gunrunner Stephen Paddock had checked in on 28 September by his proving that he had done so three days earlier on 25 September, and that was a critical evidence finding against the CIA's lone gunman fabrication due to another stunning revelation that Paddock signed a room service bill showing that two people had dinner in his hotel room on 27 September. Shortly after Chad Nishimura exposed this CIA lie, and who further stated that Stephen Paddock had checked into the Mandalay Bay Hotel on 25 September without any luggage and was a normal guy, quote-unquote, he disappeared, not just in person, but on the internet and social media, too, with all information about him being scrubbed. But that includes a news article written about him by his Hawaiian hometown television station, but that was saved by the SVR before it could be disappeared entirely. Joining Chad Nishimura in the missing column of witnesses being eliminated by the CIA is a supposed MGM Mandalay Bay Hotel security guard named Jesus Campos, who was first reported as being wounded by CIA gunrunner Stephen Paddock, but whom the SVR quickly discovered was not registered as a security guard in the state of Nevada, and had all of his employee information scrubbed from the MGM internal database, immediately after which Campos disappeared while armed guards were placed around his home, and with the only public acknowledgement of this disappearance being made by a supposed union representative who stated, without offering any proof, that Campos had checked into a quick clinic, and who also said, quote, It's highly unusual. I'm hoping everything is okay with him, and I'm sure MGM or the union will let media know when we hear something. With at least two of the critical witnesses to the Las Vegas massacre, John Bileman and Kimberly Sukamel, being put into the CIA's death column. A known Israeli operative belonging to the Institute for Intelligence and Special Operations, Mossad, going under the name of At Nick Falco, began posting from the Mandalay Bay Hotel itself his investigative findings about the Las Vegas massacre, with his proving that the leaked CIA gunrunner Stephen Paddock's room service receipt was in fact authentic, thus proving two people were in Paddock's hotel room on 27 September, his documenting that there was nowhere to hide in this hotel due to its vast camera surveillance system, and his exposing the CIA lie that said Paddock used his girlfriend's employee ID to access the freight elevator by his documenting that this hotel's freight elevator doors are not secured, nor do they have a sign posted on them restricting the general public from entering or using them. Another CIA lie exposed by this Mossad operative is that Paddock broke open a second window in his hotel room so that he could target two massive aviation fuel tanks but with his documenting that both windows had the same exact view, thus questioning why Paddock needed two windows to shoot from when one would have sufficed, unless there were two shooters, and his also documenting how Paddock's room was equipped with multiple Samsung smart TVs. The crucial significance to the discovery being WikiLeaks, this past March having published documents revealing a CIA tool for breaking into and turning Samsung smart TVs into covert surveillance devices, dubbed Weeping Angel. 
the March 2017 WikiLeaks discovery of the CIA using Samsung TVs as covert surveillance devices is what initiated Mossad agent Nick Falco to create his social media Twitter account in the same month and who since then has traveled the world discovering the hotels having them but whom and less than 24 hours later his checking into the Mandalay Bay Hotel was ejected from there by the FBI with MGM also banning him for life from ever entering into any of their hotels ever again. With the CIA leading the attack against President Trump on behalf of their deep state masters, their entire shadow government now hangs in the balance over a failed pyramid sacrifice massacre and cover-up, with all signs pointing to a potential counterattack being prepared by pro-Trump forces, and as exampled by one of President Trump's closest media allies named Sean Hannity of Fox News cryptically tweeting on 8 October, T-7 and counting TikTok, and that was followed seven days later when on 15 October, WikiLeaks' Julian Assange tweeted out an encryption key for what is expected to be a bombshell revelation that could explode everything.